Hey. Oh, my little snuffy kitty. You're so stuffed up. Yeah. Oh, you smell like litter. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So following my last moon video, I wanted to share what sort of spells that you can do during each phase of the moon. Keep in mind that you can do spells at any time, but the, your spells will be more amplified during these times. To my babies, this is Luna and Artemis. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Alice. I'm an eclectic witch, weirdo, and artist, and I make videos on witchcraft and DIYs. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button because I put out videos every single week. I'm also gonna throw in some crystals and some herbs that can also aid with your magical workings in these phases as well. So let's just jump into it. Let's jump into it. This book that I am reading right now moon magic and it's awesome it is loaded with so much information i got this one for christmas and i haven't been able really to put it down yet so i recommend it to anyone i'm pretty sure you can find it on amazon or any bookstore yeah moon magic if you are interested in cosmic witchery and astrology and using the moon this is the book for you. Now let's jump into it. Well, that in my last video, I said that spells usually aren't done during the new moon, but there are some that you can perform. Um, most of the time, it's a time to go in and start reflecting, but it's also a time for new beginnings, which means it's time to, time to get those wheels in motion for the things that you want to manifest. You should all, always do during new moons more than anything. To receive, you must give. So giving thanks is the biggest thing that you can do. It is what speaks to the universe. It is what gets your vibrations on the same level of the things that you want. It's what attracts things to you. Giving thanks during the new moon phase is really important and really beneficial to kickstart your month. So money spells are perfect at this time. Change, you can welcome change just by meditating with like a yellow candle and a tiger's eye because change is always a little bit of a difficult time for people. So if you're prepared for it, then you're good to go. You can set intentions or do spells for a new home, a new pet, to for your health, feeling grief, for going on vacation, but more than not on the new moon, try and use it as a time for grounding and meditation. Just go in with it. <laughs> Crystals that can aid you in the new moon time is Himalayan salt, which yes, is a crystal. It's very associated with the element of earth and also selenite, which is associated with the moon. For waxing moon spells, this is when the moon is growing bigger in size and getting brighter. So this is the time to build strength and confidence and energy and excitement. This is a great time to do spells to vis really visualize your intent, growing success, new adventures. It's also a perfect time for fertility spells. If you think about a waning moon, it's growing, it's getting bigger. This is a perfect time for baby making spells. <laughs> You know, on your psychic abilities and your intuition, um, friendship, creativity, they're all perfect things to manifest and create during the waxing moon phase. Like using herbs, try working with rosemary, thyme, ginger, and basil. Some crystals that you can work with, it's moonstone, citrine, jade, tiger's eye. So next is the full moon, which we all know is the most powerful time. You can do any type of spell during this time. Tons of work, um, tons of ritual work. E-sabbats are held during the full moon. You um, spell jars. We take an item that represents your intention. You need a jar with like a lid and some liquid, either like moon water, or just normal water, or even like wine. Um, take a piece of paper, write down your intention, fold that up three times and put that and your item into the jar with your liquid and set that out on the three nights of the full moon your dreams come to fruition. <laughs> I love doing spell jars, jars at the dollar store, and I haven't used these ones yet, but I'm just gonna take out the seashells in there and um, yeah, use one for like psychic healing. I got one for like love, a money one, which I've already started. I have a piece of citrine and tiger's eye in here. I've just been collecting some, collecting my ingredients as I find them around. <laughs> I love doing spell jars on full moons. You can drip wax on it and seal it up afterwards even. Really just like honoring yourself during this time and the magical being that you are. Spend time with your crystals, spend time with your tarot cards, spend time with your herbs and your plants, love spells, drawing spells, luck spells, clarity spells, gratitude spells, spells to change the weather, spells to make you more beautiful, to make you feel more powerful, marriage proposals, basically anything. Protection. You are good to go. Harness that energy. 
Your full moon crystals would be like selenite, clear quartz, to waning moon spells. So this is what the moon is shrinking in size. I shouldn't say the moon is shrinking, I should say the light is shrinking in size. So this is the time for doing banishing spells of negative energies, past energies and stuff like that. Repelling your enemies, like, bye bitch. Just, like to get rid of. So even mom, like spells for forgiveness. If you need to forgive someone, um, to the spell for yourself, to let go of that shit. Let go of that icky old energy. Those are problem solving ones. Weight loss, de-stress, anti-aging. You get it. D, D thing. <laughs> Decrease, desize, get rid of. And some great herbs to work with during this time is like lavender, and chamomile, and calming, and um, a good crystal to use like rose quartz, smoky quartz, garnet, things like that. There's some things that you can also just do during these phases of the moon. I mean, you don't have to just be continually casting spells. Understanding the phases of the moon to just really take that time for yourself as well to go through like self growth and self learning. For example, like the new moon, this is like a great time to begin something new. Waxing crescent, like let your intuition be your guide. Don't be deterred by new challenges. Like new opportunities are around every corner, so don't be afraid of them. First, the first quarter, just another active phase. Basically, you know, you're in active phases all the way up until the full full moon. Don't hold a grudge. Let go of things. Helping other people is really helping yourself moving forward and like just being confident in your actions and pushing forward during the waxing phase to analyze and refine your situation and what you're up to go back and look at like what has happened how is everything working that you've accomplished so far like what where are you right now at this phase during the full moon, there's no more shadows, everything is in the light. It's time to see things in full clarity. Congratulate yourself for, ever, for all of your accomplishments that you've, that you've achieved so far. Party on, full moon. As the moon is passing into its dimming phase, time again for reflection. Then you start reflecting, obviously feelings and emotions will emerge, and that's the perfect time to deal with this kind of thing now. Physical activity is great during waning phase. Like I said, it's, a, it's great for weight loss because it's the time of decreasing. Weight loss spells and just um, getting out there and moving during this phase is really, really important too and really good. The moon is closing in to the waning crescent and the balsamic moon and back to the new moon. It's the time to just relax. You know, go deep within, put on your favorite headphones, listen to your favorite music, just spend some time with yourself and love yourself and it's time to do it all over again. Take the time to just be still and to be rest, restful. This is something I struggle with majorly in my life. Because I work from home, I have a really hard time stopping. I feel guilty if I'm not working on something. So by using the moon phases, I can um, force myself to slow down and be like, no, this is the time for that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I post content every single week. And I will see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye. Blessed be witches.